Yeah, before we get to Chief James Craig's remarks, we want to tell you the four-year-old who was shot inside that home on Detroit's west side is at Children's Hospital. He is expected to recover. But Detroit Police Chief James Craig says it should have never even gotten to this point, that the child should have never been able to reach for that gun. Of course, you know, when you sustain a gunshot wound, whether it's a child or an adult, there can be long-lasting implications of that. Uh, uh, if the child just had, you know, gotten possession of the weapon and, and no round was fired, that would be problematic for me as well. Strong words from Detroit's police chief James Craig about the late-night incident on the 6200 block of Minock involving a four-year-old shooting himself in the thigh with his mother's gun. And now 30-year-old Latasha Lum faces one count of second-degree child abuse. Just the, the fact that the child was able to gain access to the weapon is a problem. Police say Lum told them she was coming back from a shooting range when she put the gun down for, quote, a moment. Craig says he plans to vigorously evaluate Lum's concealed pistol license. Because it's clear, uh, whatever account you're looking at, that the weapon was not safely stored. You live in a home with two minor children, uh, that's an expectation. I've said time and again that one of the things as it relates to a CPL is responsible. Responsible people with uh, guns, and if it's not properly stored and children have access, that's a problem. Once again, second-degree child abuse charges for Miss Lum, who was arraigned this afternoon. And as far as details go on this shooting, it is still pretty hazy. Police are still going over these details. You heard that perhaps she had left this gun on the table for a moment. There were also reports from the prosecutor's office that Miss Lum had awoken to this shots fired from the child here. Police, you can bet, will be looking into this and continue to investigate. For now, we are live on Detroit's west side. Andy Choi. The now Detroit.